Hi guys, this is Atulya and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is a little different from the content that I usually create. This is more on the lines of living in an overseas city, which in my case is Perth, Australia, and all about its expenses. Now, those who don't know me, I have moved to Perth quite recently from India. Now it's been about 12 weeks. And since then, a lot of my friends have been asking, how is it like living in Perth? Is it an expensive city? Or how are you coping up with the new city? And is it overwhelming and questions like that? So now if I have to answer about expenses, it completely depends on what you comparing it with. If you are comparing with other cities in Australia, like Sydney and Melbourne, then definitely Perth is less expensive. But if you're comparing it with cities in India, then Perth is more expensive. Now, in this video, I'm going to share how much would a person need monthly to live in Perth. Now, this is going to be helpful for those people who are looking for overseas job and trying to understand how much salary should they ask and um, how much should they negotiate so how much money do we need monthly to live in Perth? Now to make the understanding more simpler, I have divided all the expenses into two major categories, which is needs and the second one is wants. So let's first talk about needs. So the very first subcategory under needs is of course our housing or the rental expense. Now this depends on a lot of factors as to where is your building or where is your house? Is it like an apartment or an independent house? What's the size of your house? Is it old or is it new? Then whether it is furnished or non-furnished, how many rooms are there in your house and all of these factors. So of course, as you move closer to the city, the rent gets more expensive. And as you move away from the city, it gets cheaper. Now for a 2BHK, which is in the city, you'll have to pay about $600 per week. And for the same 2BHK, which is little away from the city in a suburb around 20, 25 minutes from the city, you'll have to pay around $400 per week. So the rental system here is on a weekly basis and the payments are to be made on a fortnightly basis. And when it comes to advance, the advance amount, which has to be paid the deposit that is calculated as the rent, which one pays for six weeks. So say, for example, your rent is $500 a week, then you'll have to pay a deposit of 500 into six, which is $3,000 initially. And of course, this is refundable depending upon the situation or the condition of the property when you leave. Now, this is what we see on an average basis. But then if you are very lucky, you can also get great deals like one of our friends who are living in the city, they, their rental expense is just $250 a week. And that is also a 2BHK house. But that happens very rarely. And But if you keep a close watch, then you might get it. The second big expense is groceries. Now, this completely depends on your consumption pattern and your rate of consumption. But if we take an average, for a couple, it will cost about $200 to $250 a week. And this includes all grocery items like fruits, veggies, cereals, milk, and snacks, and everything. So if you compare this amount to INR, then of course it comes around fifty-five to 65000 And that definitely is way more expensive. The third category is utility bills. So the very first thing here is water and electricity. So it costs about $100 a month. Now this also depends on your consumption pattern and your rate of consumption. But if you take an average for two people, it will cost around $100 a month. Then we have phone or the SIM expense. So here I'm not talking about the plan where you are taking both phone and SIM together. But if you're just taking the SIM and if you want your international calls, enabled it will cost around 40 to 55 dollars depending on your network operator this is again a monthly cost then the next one is wi-fi 
So on a monthly basis, depending on your service provider, it will cost about 50 to $60. And the next expense is the health insurance. Now this depends on what sort of visa are you in. So if you are on a temporary resident visa, it will cost about $40 a month. And if you are on a PR or if you are a citizen here, then of course it is government based Medicare plan and it is pr pretty much free. Then the next category is the vehicle. So if you have a car, then you will have car related expenses apart from petrol, which is insurance and maintenance and the rego expense. So insurance and rego together adds about 1000 to 1200 a year. And maintenance is completely depending on what kind of car do you own and how much maintenance does it require. And then of course we have the petrol prices, which again is based on your consumption. Then the fourth one is conveyance. Now, if you are using public transport and if you're traveling to office on a daily basis, how much would it cost? So here we have this transport company, uh, which also issues these smart rider cards and we can use the same card for ferries for trains and even for the buses so for me i go to office about twice a week so monthly it costs me around 60 to 80 dollars but if you are somebody who likes to go to office and who has to go to office on a daily basis it will cost about 150 to 170 dollars a month and Another thing is if you have a car or if you're planning to buy a car, so initially people stick to buying a secondhand car and you can get a decent good secondhand car starting from $5,000. Now these are all about the expenses which are related to our needs. Now let's talk about wants. So the next one is all your entertainment subscriptions like your Netflix, your Amazon Prime. So depending on what what platform you like and what sort of plan do you have, these expenses vary. So we have a Netflix for which we pay $22 a month. And the next category is your fitness memberships. Now fitness memberships are completely dependent on what sort of gym are you going. So there are certain gyms which also has swimming pool and an aquatic recreational center as well. So depending on your plan and the type of gym that you're going, it will cost around $50 to $90 a month. Of course, there is a huge gap depending on the property that you are going. The next expense is dining out. So for two people in a reasonably good restaurant, it's going to cost you around $70 to $90. But if you're going to a burger joint like KFC or Hungry Jack's, it's going to cost about $30 for two meals. So this is an expense which is completely dependent on how many times would you like to have food outside. And according to that, you can calculate your expense. Then initially, when you set up a home, there is an initial expense which is going to be there. So now this depends on whether your property is furnished or unfurnished. So if it is unfurnished, you need to buy a little bit furniture and some kitchen related items and say a microwave and things like that. So you need to have that sort of an amount in your mind, which you will need for an initial setup. And of course the deposit, which you need to pay, which is six weeks rent. Now, Facebook marketplace or the secondhand market is also great here. So a lot of people who initially come, they tend to buy or pick up these items from the marketplace, which is also a very good option. Now, apart from all of these expenses, the next one is your miscellaneous expense, which is like a doctor's visit or a salon visit or a nail center visit, personal, personal care items, your gift items, which you need to give to people. So on an average, we can keep about 200 to 350 a month for such expenses. I think that is all the expenses that we have. And in this video, I haven't included the clothing or the travel expenses. 
clothing, makeup, shoes, travel, all of those expenses. Now, if you are a person who likes to spend on all of those things as well, then you need to have a certain amount aside for that as well. So we have discussed all the major expenses which one may incur. Now, to sum up, if you ask me, in a month for a couple, it will cost about $4,200 to $4,500 a month. For a family with two kids, uh, it will also include the education, kids' education-related expenses. So it will be around $6,200 to $6,500 a month. And for a single person in a shared accommodation or a studio apartment, it's going to cost around $2,700 to $3,000 a month. Now, all of these expenses, these values that I'm saying, these are all for very comfortable sort of a living and not from a frugal living perspective. And considering the fact that the standard of living is much better here compared to India, this amount is sufficient for all the basic and a little bit of social sort of events, that sort of uh, expenses as well. So it's for a comfortable living. Now, if you want to know more about the expenses, say, for example, how much would one liter of milk cost or how much would 500 grams of meat cost? There is a link that I'm putting down in the description. You can definitely check it out and compare if you would like that. I hope this content was really helpful. And if you liked it so far, do press the thumbs up button and also share it with people who are looking for jobs overseas and who are planning to move to overseas. Now, I usually create content relating to career growth, cracking your dream job, resume preparation, interview preparation and things like that. If such sort of content excites you, definitely subscribe to my channel because there is a lot more that is coming up. And I'll also link the entire playlist in the i button here. Moving forward, I am going to create videos on career growth, growth mindset, personal development and living in Australia. If that excites you, definitely subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends and family. Also, do mention in the comments below uh, what sort of content would you want or like to see. And if you have come so far, thank you so much for sticking with me till the end. I respect your time and I promise that I'm going to bring more content which is definitely going to be relevant and helpful to you. With that, it's me, Atulia Nair, signing off. Ciao!